So congratulations to Hanoi after 10 years of delay. Finally, the first SkyTrain line from Katlin to Hadom is opening today. Work on the line, built by China Railway 6 Group, started in 2011 and was originally scheduled for completion in 2013. But for various reasons, the deadline was pushed back again and again and again until it was finally open today. Entrepreneurial Hanoians are quick to start charging all the motorbikes hefty prices for parking here. They actually ask 20, 20,000 dong, which is more than double the usual price. I just parked on the other side over there. Free. Okay, let's see what it's like inside. So let's go upstairs uh, and see how it is. It's going Please to be, be careful and mind your well, yeah. okay. <laughs> go, go. Now they're checking, of course, for me how they're going to do it. Oh, because. Okay, so let's go upstairs. It's going to be free. Free tickets. It's going to be. Um, after 15 days, it's going to be 8,000. Please be careful and don't do that. And then 15,000 for the whole ride. We're gonna get free tickets at the beginning. Come on. And then we enter. And there is a train coming. So this line would run for 13 kilometers, 12 stations in between. It's supposed to take about 23 minutes with all the stops. And the speed can get up to about 80 kilometers according to what they say. And here we are at the next, next station, Latine. Two and a half years. I am a former city planner and um, actually transportation planning, so this is really exciting for me. It's not going to be enough. But I think for local, it's not going to be really good for a local ride. Commuters are coming from far away. The metro system will eventually consist of eight lines, with a total length of 318 kilometers. The key word here being eventually, because as for now, only one more line, the Nyon Hanoi section of Van Mio line in the west, is somewhat close to completion, and even it is not expected to open to the public before the year 2023. Therefore, I won't be expecting much, at least not in the next decade. Okay, that's the last station we arrived. It didn't take long, and that's pretty far out. So uh, here we take the ticket. And we put it back here and then we give it back to them. So um, they can count, they can count how many people are traveling. So this is uh, the last stop uh, connected to a bus station, but we are out in the middle of nowhere. So... Please be careful and mind your steps. There it is, that's the end of uh, the line. There it is. 
And of course, those people decided to push, cut in line. There we go. So we got in, it's so crowded. I actually didn't expect them to allow the train to be so crowded because of all the COVID hysteria in Hanoi. Apparently, it doesn't apply here. So let's see if they're going to uh, change the rules by tomorrow or something. Because for now, it's really crowded. The only change I see from yesterday is that now we have to scan this QR code on our COVID application. I received only one vaccine and I was allowed in. If anything, look at it, it was way more crowded. And it's ironic because only two weeks ago or so, Hanoi was still under lockdown. Gatherings are still not allowed in open spaces, and yet they allow all those people in such close proximity like there is no tomorrow. We just have to wait for three more weeks and see if that was such a good idea. I have to say, seeing those familiar city roads from above is quite an interesting experience. For example, even though I drove through this road so many times before, from ground level it's impossible to tell what lies behind those high fences. In this case, a cluster of old factories. I'm sorry, but I couldn't resist the temptation to get off the train and take a closer look. So, what is my conclusion? This metro line is definitely a first step in the right direction, and for some people it might be a comfortable solution. For me, at least until the metro system is much more developed, which will not happen anytime soon, this new metro line is definitely not a solution to move around the city. For the time being, I think I'll be sticking with my trusted motorbike.